Hey YouTube, this is Everything Epan here, and today I'm going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Powered in VirtualBox. This has been a highly requested video. Um, I've had a lot of people tell me to do a Windows Powered video, and I finally found an ISO that worked. Um, so that will be in the description below. Windows Powered, um, it's technically Windows 2000 powered but it's I'll just call it Windows powered um, so let's go ahead and get into the tutorial um, in VirtualBox go ahead and click new and then type in Windows powered and then for the operating system just do Windows 2000 and hit next and then leave the RAM and then create the virtual hard drive at 4 gigs and then go ahead and hit settings storage and then find the Windows 2000 um, powered ISO, Windows powered, um, but mine is located right here, wherever it is, da, 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 da. Windows powered. Click open and then go ahead and click OK and then go ahead and start. And so it's going to start up and uh, go through the install here. So I'll say setup is starting and then it'll do the welcome to setup here. And it, this is a server edition type. Uh, it's a, one of the editions of the server based uh, Windows 2000. So. I'm going to enter to continue, click F8 to agree to the license agreement, and then click enter to install on that drive, and enter to use the NTFS file system. And then it's going to format your drive, and then after that it's going to copy files over. So I'm going to let this go quick, um, and it won't take too long. As you can see, the formatting did not take long at all, and then it's going to do, do this check, and then it's going to do the... Um, copying files which does not take long either just kinda gotta give it a little bit of time and then it will eventually get to the point where it will ask to do the reboot I forgot to put this in full screen click enter to reboot So I press any key to boot from the CD. Don't do that. You don't want to boot from the CD. Otherwise, you'll just keep going in the constant loop. So I'll do the Windows. Two. It's the boot up is a Windows 2000 server family, but you'll see once we actually get it started up um, after the install that it is Windows 2000. And it's kind of like an advanced server version. I don't know how to kind of really explain it. But. Now it's going to go through the process of installing devices. Which can take a little bit of time. So just kind of let it sit for a little bit. And I'll be back with you guys in a sec. Okay, so after installing devices, it's going to come up with the language screen. So go ahead and click next. And then. You type in a name here, anything you want, click enter. And now it's going to ask for the product key. I'm going to go ahead and enter that kind of quick. That'll be in the description with the product key, so I'll be right back. So after the product key gets entered in, go ahead and click next. And then type in a computer name. I'm just going to type in Windows Powered. Entered. And then click next. And then choose your time zone. Make sure your time is and stuff is correct. Click next. It's going to install networking components now. And then it'll come up with this setting here, typical or custom, just do it's typical and hit next. Connect it to either a work group or domain. I'm just going to do the work group, hit next. Now it's going to copy files over, so this can take a little bit. So just let this sit, and I'll be back with you guys once it's finished. Okay, so once it's all finished, it'll say completing the Windows 2000 Setup Wizard. Go ahead and click finish. 
and I guess as of right now you can remove the ISO so it should reboot here so now I started to reboot here and it's going to say starting windows here they'll say the windows 2000 server family here on the boot screen but when we get to the logon screen it says windows powered hey that's pretty good windows powered finally here I know you guys have been requesting this video for a long time I finally got an ISO to work and uh, we're gonna go and input control delete here and click OK and the audio works on it too so that's pretty good so yeah windows powered on the side here and then if we do oops we do Winbur it'll say Windows powered so that is awesome so there you go guys that's how to install Windows powered in VirtualBox um, this was a highly requested video that you guys were begging me to do and I finally got it to work so thank you guys for watching um, like this video if you enjoyed um, um, share this video as well comment ideas for future videos down below um, I'm just so glad I got this tutorial finally out of the way and that you guys can finally get Windows powered. So comment your ideas down below and don't forget to subscribe. Once again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.